one of the best feelings of my life. You know, to celebrate with your brothers after a win like that. Can't describe the feeling. We had a blast doing it. Um, I wouldn't want to do it with any other group of guys. Just credit to them, credit to all the work that we put in over the years. We're all best of friends and just to be able to share that moment forever was super special. One thing that we've all wanted to do is be able to punch that ticket into the next round, slam the name on the board. Being a huge college basketball fan, that's what you look forward to every year is, is watching you know, those Cinderella teams win in a big moment or watching the craziness that goes on. And when you're a part of it, it's like you know, nothing else in the world. Seeing our guys celebrate after they go with our fans and just soak it in and live in that moment, like that was really special. We had practice that day and we were trying to watch it before we got on the court. We had enough time and our women were in the locker room, our staff was right outside the locker room and there was just so much cheering and just getting so excited. This group did something special for its university, for the fans, for the former players, and for one another. To kind of etch this team in Princeton history is amazing because this is such a deep tradition, deep legacy of basketball here. Princeton's upset against UCLA. That was the signature win in Princeton history for years, and they laid the groundwork for us to beat Arizona. That game, for those of us that played in it, it gets brought up to all of us regularly, and now this will happen to these guys over time, too. It'd be even better if you make the Sweet 16. Literally the second the game ends, I'm thinking about, we got to get ready for Missouri. <laughs> That's where my head went. Any team in March that's playing as well as we were and with the confidence is a dangerous team and we definitely weren't going to look past Missouri. After watching film I got really confident and really excited about the game. The way they play defense we've seen it before multiple times this year you know with Cornell and, and other teams that press a lot so you know we had the formula to beat it and you know it's the biggest stage, it's a different team, they're in a different conference and all that stuff but I was super confident. We're not here by surprise. It wasn't just a lucky win over Arizona, like we've earned this. I think at that point, we didn't see it as 15 and 17. For us, it was like, it's our guys against them. A chance to dance in the Sweet 16 is on the line. The 15 seeded Princeton Tigers take on the Missouri Tigers, a seven seed in the South region. The third meeting between Princeton and Missouri is underway. The opening tap controlled by Keyshawn Kelman and the Tigers. Right wing three. That hits. <laughs> what a shot. The stare down. For a Walmart. Out to a Laco. Langford. Ball fake. Launches a three and hits. Ryan Langford. Second three. After Borg hit his first couple shots, we're like, yo, feed Ryan. He's got it going right now. He started to play his best basketball when the moment was the biggest, when we needed him the most to come through. It was so good to see and the confidence he was playing with and everything, like I was just very proud to, to watch and, and super fun to be a part of. Princeton leading, Ryan Langborn on fire to start. Wide open is Keyshawn Kelman who hammers it home. Shaw gets blocked by Kelman on the end, out of bounds. Over to the Princeton Tigers. Into the front court, a Walmart. Again to Kelman, who dunks it. Dalston has his shot swatted away by a Walmart. Now we're starting to hear a little bit from the Princeton fans in attendance. Martini hits a three. Princeton's up 10. Now Langport. High post a Walmart. A Walmart and one. Toast on a Walmart. Awoma into the front court with a hesitation. Awoma all the way in, lays it up and in. Timeout, Missouri. Feeding the post to Carter. Back outside, East, high arcing three, no good. Another rebound for Caden Pierce, number nine. <laughs> He's getting every rebound. Rebounding is a toughness category. You don't have to be 6'10", you don't have to be the biggest jumper, all those things. It's about just effort and going again and again each possession. And Kate really embodies that. It's not a gimmick. I mean, he's watching the ball, greatly anticipating where it would probably go, and then his ability to go get it with two hands. I've never seen anything like it. It just gives everybody such confidence when you have somebody on your team that can do it. 145 left, Hodge dipping in, throws it up and in with the right hand. Two to shoot, one to floater, got it by East to end the first half. 
the end of the first half, we were up 14. They went on a 7-0 run to cut it to seven at the half. And I remember walking into the locker room and I was pretty upset. That was the one moment that I was upset about, you know, whether it was things that I did or we didn't close the game out. Like I just felt like a little bit frustrated. And I had a little moment of perspective, like we're a 15 seed in the second round of the tournament and I'm frustrated that we're only up seven at halftime. But that was how the game went. Like you always felt like you could blow it open. Brown dribbles left, turns into Kelman, gets swatted away by Keyshawn Kelman. Whoa! Down low, Kelman on the other end with a dunk. Second time he went defense, offense, Keyshawn Kelman playing huge in the biggest moment of his life. No good, the tip is good, uh -oh. Keyshawn Kelman again. He's taking over this game, he's been huge. Five to shoot, pops in the lane, blocked by Pierce, outside, three to shoot, oh! He got rejected at the rim. Right for a lock -off. corner three, wide open, Pierce, he got it! I think Prince has got to keep their foot on the gas, they need one more big offensive push. Peters, wide open for three, got it! Don't leave that man open! This guy just comes in and makes shots whenever his number is called upon. You know, it's a shock to everyone else and we're like, no, like, he does that all the time, like, he's very capable of that. So free flowing, not thinking. I mean, it's, it's like the zone. Once you're in there, you barely even hear the crowd noise, to be honest. Like, you're just so reactive to what the defense is doing. Now, Aloma to the right elbow. Peters is open. Catch it, two, three. Cut it. There he is, the sniper, the specialist. Locked and loaded. Langborg trying to take the arm for right. Spin cycle. Whoa, what a move. Ryan Langborg. Ryan scores on the spin and then comes back down the other way and makes a great defensive effort play to steal the ball. And to me, that's Princeton basketball. I wasn't thinking about the beautiful move and the gasp from the crowd, you know, as he spun and made a beautiful layup, he was back. And that's where he needed to be in that moment, just, just winning. Great time dribble with the right hand. Dealing with Kobe Brown, step back three. Got it! 59, 41. Top of the key, right in the circle now for Walmart. Peters pops a three, got it! I caught Coach with a big smile on his face, and um, that's when you know things were going our way. We were just in the zone, we were locked in. Yeah, Coach had a little smirk, I think. He was trying to contain it, but none of us could. It was unbelievable, special what he was doing. That was the ultimate, I think, just they're having so much fun. How can you not enjoy this? Malaco gets a move, gets a step, down low, Pierce with the dunk! 19 point lead for Princeton. Malaco throws it into the corner, Peters looks at his feet, finds up a three! Blake Peters! <laughs> Unbelievable! Aloma driving the rim, hangs in the air, oh, the putback by Pierce! Okay, we're up five, we're up. 10, we're up 15, it's like, this is happening, we're gonna win this game, and we wanna go to the Sweet 16. I think it hit me once I got subbed out, you're just hugging everybody. At the same time, you're looking up at all the Princeton fans, and it was so cool to have so many people, even though we're, what, 3,000 miles from campus, there was just a sea of orange in the crowd, and that was so cool to be able to see, had so much support. What an unbelievable moment for Princeton basketball, to quote, the late, great Pete Carrill. Yo, the Princeton Tigers are headed to the Sweet 16. Pac-12 out, SEC out. Next stop for the Tigers, Louisville, Kentucky. This to me is, for us and our staff and our program, has been a long process and a long time coming. This doesn't surprise me. They've taken Princeton basketball into a new era. We have such unbelievable section here. I have the best teammates in the world. I love each and every one of them, man. When we go out and believe in each other, I mean, anything is possible. I know it's cliche, but anything is possible! This is a very, very confident group. We are so thrilled to be going to the Sweet 16. It is an absolute pleasure being around these guys. They just grit their teeth, and they do it. It's been a few years in the making, I think, and uh, we just have such a close group and we love to work with each other, we love to push each other, and, you know, it's showing. The world looks at it as two upsets, but I keep feeling like we're supposed to be here, and we have a lot of confidence in one another, and there's definitely no lot up with this group.